It's very interesting to always begin inside and work outside. And so yes, when I've learned to forgive and I've allowed the power of love to heal the soul in meditation, then the next step would be to ask myself, am I caring for myself? And by that I mean not something which is selfish, but something which is responsible in the sense that most of us give time to others and time to work, but we very rarely give time to ourselves. <laughs> and I think that what I have to do is change my priorities and learn to care for myself first. First, am I giving time for myself to nurture myself with silence, with spiritual understanding, so that I'm feeding the soul? Then, if I can do that, I can care for those around me in terms of my relationships with family and friends and even colleagues. And then third is the task. And normally you can see how we put the task first. This is the priority, this is the deadline. And if I squash a few people along the way, it's okay. I have to get my deadline sorted out. But changing things around and learning to care for myself so that I can be spiritually strong and stable means I can then care for those around me, the ones I love. And, you know, we say we love our families, but how much time am I giving to my family? And an expression of care would be giving quality time to those around me. If I'm caring for others, the work is going to get done because I'll have everyone's love and support and cooperation. And where I've trampled on people's feelings, when I need help, there won't be anyone to help me. So I'm not thinking about it in that selfish way that this is an investment, but it actually is. Caring for others is an investment.